last couple of weeks, I've had a really massive pain on my knee joint. It's from hack squat. You know, the movement was fine, but the pressure point kind of shifted on my foot and a lot of the tension went into my knee. It's been a bit concerning just because I've been in a deficit for the last couple of weeks now. I'm struggling to stimulate the quad, especially it, it's a little bit concerning in terms of size. And, you know, just trying to make sure that I give it enough resistance to maintain as much size as possible. A lot of people actually don't realize how regular this becomes, especially the more experience you get into, into training. Fuck, this shit hurts my shoulders, man. You have to look after your body to maintain it. It does start to get a little bit more costly the more advanced you get. I've been training for around six years now and um, only really started needing this sort of maintenance past year or so. I did my back from heavy squats back in the day. Um, I was hitting like 140 for reps of 18. It was fucking ridiculous. Obviously, I was dumb, young, and ignorant. The form definitely could have been better. It wasn't terrible, but it definitely wasn't the best. If you're new to lifting, highly, highly recommend to just prioritize form and technique. Definitely get the fundamentals right before increasing the weight. Keep in mind that weight is just one form of resistance. It's just a tool, really, to help monitor and track your progression from a week-to-week -week basis. So guys, I'm treating Alex's right knee. Uh, the last maybe four or five weeks now. Yeah, around that. Like How it happened was he we was doing B squats, knee kind of buckled a bit underneath the, the squat, and essentially his kneecap or his patella just started tracking a bit differently. Um, so that was giving him a lot of knee pain on his squats and everything else. So all we're doing now is focusing on getting his quads loose, getting his glute meat strong, which is good for his hip stability. He's going better now, which is great. Man's got big quads, so it's just hard <laughs> to keep it loose. But uh, we're slowly getting there, which is good. So today we'll have the same thing. See how his exercise is going. You're a lot more comfortable in the camera than I am. Oh, no. <laughs> I think photos, I don't really know how to do it because like, I think I'm always like, how do I look if I'm posing this way? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, photos, photos I've done a lot, but I guess because you've done a lot of um, videos on yeah. this place. You like your narrow squats, yeah? I do for quads, like I, I prefer a lot more narrower. For hammies, yeah. it's sort of a shoulder width. I never really do wide. You know, it's, it's, my knees just a little bit Go again. I'm only going to one today, but I'm going to rouse some people. Yeah. Mm, nice. Yeah. Alex, how did you go to room? Oh, yeah. I think he told me that we're. Uh, but no, she said something. It's like it's like a storage unit. It's like something else. Okay. Uh, I needed someone to tend the other day. Yeah. For the knee. Yeah. Which I usually don't do, and it worked really well for him. Oh, really? So I'm going to do the same. Oh, that's somewhere. scary. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same for you. So. Getting better. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. You're the king of the quads. King of the quads. Get a moisturizer your legs. Yeah. Well, I, I tanned up because I have to do a thing for general later. Oh, you tanned up. So look, generally with dry needling, this is me speaking to the camera now. Yeah. Um, you don't kind of want to go into tendons because it's a bit sensitive, but uh, really, pretty much with uh, with Alex, he's got, like I said, this happening. So um, tendon gets stressed quite a bit. So uh, this is just really good to kind of get in deep. Generally, oh. generally with shockwave. That's our general yeah. shop wave, but uh, yeah. this has worked well before, so we'll see how we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, how are you going with all like low calorie stuff? Dude, I opted, I was like, fuck this. 2.5? Yeah, I'm not yeah. too far, which is a little bit more sustainable, still not crazy. It's still good, but... I pumped up my carbs to like 220 to 250. Yeah. Which is plenty for me. Yeah. I'm not like su super like, super lean at the moment, but like I'm content. We're getting uh, Alex on Metagenics, which is essentially a practitioner only supplement range. It's essentially derived from uh, naturopath, but mixed with modern medicine or Western medicine. So, uh, this is your magnesium supplement, really good for muscle uh, relaxation, de decreasing spasms. We also have Energy X, which is magnesium as well, but you've got a couple of B vitamins for energy. Glucosamine intensive care, which, as it says here, joint support, and essentially it's just going to help with any kind of load, especially with Alex because he's doing a lot of volume with his bodybuilding. Uh, all this will just aid recovery. Uh, it's not going to stop injuries, it's just more so going to make sure that everything stays 
uh, as loose and as mobile uh, as possible uh, to give them the best chance of you know training harder every single time. So, so we just finished up the session. Uh, focused a lot on my right knee and my left knee, specifically the tendon, just because uh, as he was explaining, like it was just locking up way too much. And he just suggested some exercises that, you know, that I can do to, you know, as you get heavier, the more muscle mass you have, it's a lot heavier for, you know, it's a lot harder for your body to carry that mass, especially if you're a small jointed guy like me or like a small friend guy, you'll find kind of trouble holding yourself at heavier weights. Eventually your body does adapt to certain body weights, but um, until then it just becomes, it is a little bit difficult to perform like general life tasks. Sometimes I'll be going upstairs at around 81, 82 kilos. I'm like puffed out. I hopped out the shower and I'm already, I'm already sweating. Like it just, it gets really difficult. That's coming from a guy that started at like 45 kilos when I was like 15, 16. So it's very, very skinny to begin with. So ever since then, I stacked on like 40 kilos. Obviously, I got older and the bone density became a little bit heavier and growth and stuff, but still a fair bit of weight to pack on at such a small frame. Not that I'm saying massive or anything. I definitely can be a lot bigger, but already at this weight point, um, it, it does get difficult. For me, like a healthy weight range would be around 73 to 75. Um, body functions pretty well. I feel a little bit healthier. I don't, you know, puff out of breath. My breathing isn't heavy. I'm not snoring. I feel like, you know, towards the 80s, 90s, if I could ever, you know, even reach 90 kilos, you know, that's when things start to, to get really, really difficult. But that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along. I hope it was somewhat informative. And, you know, I guess just my goal with this channel is not to only upload online coaching related material, but to kind of provide, you know, another perspective, I guess, and kind of document the journey. Um, Cause I do a lot and uh, people do get curious. So I'm like, fuck it, may as well, you know, potentially vlog. Even though I don't like the idea of vlogging, it feels kind of weird and narcissistic, but I mean, I don't know, we'll see where it goes. You never really know. Hey, like always open new windows of opportunity. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or you know anything health or fitness related or physio injury related, even I can speak to Ab about it and he'll he'll be more than happy to help out. Until next time.